Okay, I'm going to show you how to clean a flounder today. First, you start with a scaled flounder. I'll take a scaler. I'll make sure I got all the scales off from the uh, tail all the way up to the gill plate. Shoulders on both sides, the white side and the dark side. I hold the fish with the top of the fish toward me and I cut it a diagonal to more or less what I call a shoulder to, uh, to the bottom of his belly. That way I try not to get much of his belly involved in it. A little slit, I just go all the way. Go about halfway through from about the uh, backbone um, and to the rib cage. And then I take a little slit, a little slit right here toward the tail. I'll do the white side first because the white side is the thinnest side and it's easier to go ahead and do the white side before you do the dark side. Take the little slit down here, I take the tip of my knife and be careful because you got to hold the fish with the, your hand up here. You don't want to slide the tip of your knife in your hand. Take the tip of your knife and run it down the backbone right on top of the ribs. And you can feel it kind of tickle the ribs as you go down. Then you come down at a little bit of an angle and kind of cut it right above the the bottom of the fins, same thing on the top part of the fish, slide it down the backbone and go down his rib cage. Okay, the only thing you should have left now is a little bit of meat that's still attached to the top of the uh, backbone. You take it, just kind of run it down the backbone, and that's it. Now, if there's a little bit of fish, uh, something left to clean up, you can kind of go down here. Take your knife and trim it off. If there's a little bit of belly left, just kind of come in, cut that off. And there you go, and there's a white side fillet right there. What I do then is turn the fish over, do the same thing, opposite. I've got the fish's belly this time toward me. Start from the shoulder, go down at an angle, halfway through again, slid across the tail, slide the knife down, the backbone and the top of the, the uh, rib cage and kind of cut out. Again, be careful about know where you're, be aware of where the tip of your knife is. Same thing down here. And you can, when you get a little practice with it, you can kind of feel about where the knife is, where it's going to go. And what I'll do then is take, free it up here, take a little bit of meat that's on the backbone. And separate it from the fish. Then, I, then you don't have much fish left. You just about read a newspaper through it. Um, take and trim. Take this off you do not want. If you get a little bit of belly, just trim that off. And that's it. That fillet is ready to be washed and put into a frying pan.